Water is one of those tricky things that it's hard to judge if it's bad for you or not. Kind of like air or dating. If you can't initially see a problem, you assume everything's okay. Well, now when it comes to water, there's a device that can compute. If there are chemicals that pollute, you're still on your own with your love life. We've all seen and probably even own various drinking water filters, but I'm guessing most of us don't travel around with them. So when we're visiting places with questionable water quality, it's hard to know what's okay or not okay to drink. That's where Netanel Reich and Alan Bauer come in. They developed a technology called Leash Tote. It can tell you in two seconds without even touching the water if it's safe to drink. The inventor spoke to me from Jerusalem, Israel. Welcome and thank you for joining us on Innovation Nation. Hello, Hello Mo. Mo. What inspired the idea for it? I served in the Israeli Special Forces, and the most heavy thing that we already uh, carried for operations was water, because we didn't know if the local water is safe to drink or not. The inspiration came when we found a phenomenon that water behave differently electronically, electrically, when bacteria are present and not present. When you rub or you move water against a surface, like a plastic surface, water actually transfers electrons, a lot of electrons, to the plastic surface. That creates an electric field. Electric fields can be measured. Once the discovery was made, the duo set out to get the right technology and hardware in a small portable device. We had to find like what is the exact spectrum of the field that we are going to measure. It took us about two years just to find the exact sensor to detect just this field. To use the device, take a sample of water and pour it into a plastic cup swirl the water around for a few seconds. We've trained the device to look for a specific pattern of electric fields that we have associated with clean water. And so if the water is clean, so you should get a nice blue light like that. If there are contaminations present, then the field looks different and the device knows that that's not the field it's looking for. And instead of giving a blue light, it'll give a red light, meaning there's a contamination present. Just like that, you've got the info you need to keep drinking safe water. Well, thank you both for being on our show. Thank you, Mo. 